Good morning to everyone out there. Good morning. Happy week ahead to you all out there. May God continue to bless you. I have this topic before me. But before people start coming in, so that we'll discuss it together. Because it's really bothering me for some days now. It's something that we really need to fish, fish out. Really need to talk about what is that voice. I think we need to know the meaning of that voice first. Maybe by the time we know the meaning of that voice, maybe we'll know what next to do. I've got two people in the house. Please give me thumbs up and give me 10 to 15 minutes of your time. Please, thank you. I appreciate that so that it will count for me. What is that voice? When we say that voice, it means there is going to be separation between these two people, the man and the woman. They are tired of staying together. They don't want to stay together anymore. It can be legal. It can be illegal. Anyone you want to call it. They've decided that they don't want to stay together again. And before this stage comes, something must have happened. Positive vibes. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning. Happy week ahead to you. So, and before this comes out, I'm trying to talk about that voice because it's really bothering me. I've noticed for some days now, I'm just hearing that voice every year. If I go here, this person wants to that voice. If I go here, this person wants to that voice. So I want to really know the stage we are supposed to that voice. What are the things? What is the stage? That's why I said before I continue, I want to talk a the, about the meaning of that voice so that we really know what that voice is all about lovely natural thank you for coming this morning thank you so much for joining me this morning i've got people in the house please give me thumbs up thank you so much edwana 365 thank you for coming okay no problem thank you so much for joining me this morning so I'm talking about the stages. What is the stage that someone is supposed to divorce his or her partner? Because I've noticed it's so rampant. This. Is. So I was talking to myself. I said, what is causing this? What really happened? The meaning of the voice is that these two people that can no longer want to stay together. Yes, they feel that they are no longer compatible. They can't cope again. It's possible they don't, they don't want to see themselves anymore. But my issue here is this. Why the question keep coming to me is this. When both of you met, I think you people agree that you were going to be living together. You were going to be husband and wife. You went ahead to plan your wedding. Yes, some will, they will even tell you my courtship is for eight years, four years. Uh, my courtship uh, is for two years, one year. Then at the end of the day, you people got married. You did your wedding. Why well, elaborate or not? I don't know. But you you did wedding whereby one or two person was there. And I know most people that are doing wedding, like my marriage, the people that came, they were more than 50. Do you understand? And now I'm deciding that I don't want the man anymore. Those people that we are in the marriage should also be there. That I will tell them that I don't want the man anymore. Because I don't understand why that voice is so rampant everywhere. Jenny, good morning. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Do I love Lisa Michelle? Thank you so much. Thank you for coming, Akin. Thank you for joining me this morning. I really want us to discuss it. What are those things? The state that we made one to say divorce is not the issue. Divorce is not the case. 
Because when both of you agreed to live together, there was something that brought you people together. I think that thing should still remain. Or oh, I don't understand. Why is it that along the way, after giving birth, you now say you can no longer cope with the person. You can't marry the person again. Bozo, thank you so much for coming. Oh, so sorry for that. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just gisting. It's really bothering me. It's so rampant these days. I was now wondering, what is the cause? What will be the stage that will make you say, okay, I no longer want to do. Please, I need opinion. I think some of us in the house, we are married. Please let me know. Those stages. <laughs> that someone will be and will say, he or she doesn't want anymore. Because I've explained the meaning of that voice when I started. Separation between the two parties. You say you, you can no longer cope with each other. You are no longer fit to be around with yourself anymore. You go your separate way. Why I go my separate way? What are those stages that really made them to decide that it's the voice that is not the way out, it's the key? Because when you people got married, two of you got married, you have so many witnesses around. Please, as we are connecting with each other, let's talk about this. It's something that is really bothering me. And I've got so many people around that I'm hearing it so much. It's so, I was like, I don't really know what to do. I said, okay, I will bring it to the house. But before I continue, let me share good news with you. I have community tab now. Yes, it's good news. <laughs> Yesterday I was saying it in my live stream. I said, I don't understand. I don't have community tab yet. So someone said I should contact YT. And I said, I've been to a live stream where they said, I have to have 1,100 subscribers before I can be given community tab. But now I have community tab. I don't have 1,100 subscribers yet. And I did write to YT. I saw it this morning. It's good news to me. <laughs> it's good news. Because I was thinking of how to get their address get their id i said i will start writing yt that will take long process hope you people are enjoying this gist <laughs> i'm not getting response from you is it that everybody here we are all single <laughs> let me hear your opinion because i need this the voice of a thing what is the stage that will make one say he or she is no longer fit to continue with the marriage? I want to know. Because I've seen cases, I've seen couples that are celebrating 50 years in marriage. 25. Even 100. Time, Maria, put, I'm going through a divorce. Oh, you are welcome to the house. Please let me know what happened. Or if you don't want to discuss it openly, okay, you, you will send it to me. Let's discuss. You send it to my email. But I want us to share so that we will know what it's all about. What is the stages? What was your stage? What made you say you no longer want to do you can still learn from us now. Yes, it's too waiting. You can still learn. 13 years is probably a son of Satan and his. Okay, is it that you are celebrate you are, you you spent 13 years in your marriage? Me, I will be doing mine May 1st. Yes, May 1st is just around the corner. I will be spending 13 years in my marriage. That he was beating you let us know because i've heard cases where they said if the man is beating you or the woman is beating you you back you pack out 
So that I will really know because I've really talked about it. I told someone, I said, before you got married, you people did courtship. And this person was beating you. You went ahead. You never said no. <laughs> I cannot continue. You went ahead. Why is it that now you are not complaining? So let's know what is really happening. Okay. Okay. The love. I love Lisa. Michelle Show said she has been that voice before. But now she's happily married. Please discuss it with me now. I want to know. Because I don't I don't understand this diversity. Is it because you no you people are no longer compatible? You are still married for 15 years, here you see. And you are getting along with yourself. So when you marry the wrong person, it's better you divorce. I tried to divorce him in 2008, ended up with broken jaw. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, it's not funny, you know. There are some homes like that. But when you people started, in, or you you people never went through courtship, relationship. Okay, Bozo, thank you so much. It's 13. Is it 13 or 12? 12, sorry, 12. You are correct. 12 years. I say I do in 2007. That is 12. 2007 was when I say I do. Please, let's discuss. I want to really know what the issue is. This divorce of 18 is so rampant. So that we can learn. Those of us that are coming up. Yes. Those of us that are not married. So that we can learn. I think it's better you married. You marry somebody that you are compatible with. Stable kids. Welcome for coming to the house. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. As you are coming, please don't forget to give me thumbs up. Thank you so much. Hello, Star. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you for coming this morning. Mama Flozy. Good morning. Happy week ahead. Thank you for coming. Oh, your place is have to do. This place is money. <laughs> this is money. Old. This is after 10 here. Monday morning. Yeah, the difference in time is, is like that. Grace is in the house. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate every one of you. I know we are busy communicating, we are busy relating, connecting, but I want us to discuss this topic before us because it's something that is really bothering me. Why is it so rampant these days? Is it that we, we are getting married to the wrong person? Because someone just said he divorced the husband and remarried, and now he's enjoying the marriage very well. Because it's so rampant these days. I'll be wondering what really happened. Is it that it was love at first sight? <laughs> love at first sight. So no matter what, you overlook the person's weakness. You went ahead to marry the person. Then along the way, you now find out that the person is Something else. 
So I will say Satan incarnate. <laughs> Satan's child. Agent. Ah, what's up? <laughs> we are not talking about food now. We are talking about marriage. Yes. Because the two people, they are supposed to live together in love. But along the way, the voice comes in. So we are discussing about it. What are the costs? Thank you for coming. Sorry, sorry if I missed calling you before. I'm fine, and you? How are you? Happy week ahead. <laughs> oh, God. Bozo, we are in a serious issue here. <laughs> The thing is so rampant, so we really need to work on it. It's, to me, I think maybe the stages. Yes, this divorce of a thing is stages. Yes, now nah, it's not funny, you no. Know, because if you see home, especially some homes, yeah, but you already have children, and it's happening. Is happening there, so I will begin to wonder what is really going on, and it's affecting the children. So, one point that I've got in this morning now is possible the person marry a wrong person. Yes, the person married the, the wrong person with the present partner. And they are living fine now. Unlike before, it was talk of war. They were not compatible. So one point, one point that I've been able to get this money, one of the reasons why that voice comes in is marrying the wrong person. When you marry the wrong person, it's like that. So marrying the wrong person can lead to divorce. If you marry the wrong person, it can lead to divorce. Mama Flozy, is Mama Flozy still in the house? Hello, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, you're on the phone? Yes, sir. Okay, when well, you finish, okay. I want to ask you if you can do something. Okay, no problem, sir. Thank you. Sorry for that. So one came. So I was attending to the person. So Mama Flozy, Mama Flozy is in the house. Okay. Mama Flozy, please say something concerning the, the title. Stages of the voice. I've got one point today now that when you marry the wrong person, it leads to the voice. What are other things that we know? Because when these two people married, I I felt they love themselves. And uh, yes, they love themselves. They wanted to be there for each other, but along the way. Something happened. Something happened. So what are those things that can cause the voice? Okay. Mary is still saying something. Say, I never gave up. I tried. My divorce is May 25. If I survive. Okay. She said she never gave up, but she tried. It's possible that way, you know, because we don't want to go our separate ways, because we don't want what people will say concerning it, because maybe we already have children in the home. We don't want the, our children to be affected. That is the reason why some people are still in their marriage today. 
Do you understand? That is the reason why they are still there. They don't care what will happen. But the truth is that if both partners are not met for each other, they will definitely go their separate ways. There's nothing you can do about it. It will take time, but they will go their separate ways. That is what I've understood by this divorce of a team. Jenny and a to says, Lisa Michel TV, show you all have a beautiful relationship. We need spirituality in it to work and communication and continue to do things together as a couple to keep it green. Yes, you are correct. Both partners need to do it to make it work out well. It's not for one person. It's not for the woman alone or for the man alone. It's both partners. You are very correct. You know, some homes now, you see only the woman or the man that is the breadwinner that is making it work out. Some people will tell you, I want my marriage to be like Lagba Jasu. I want my marriage to be like Soso Pesci's own. The truth is that no marriage was made in heaven. No marriage was made perfect. You need to work it out. And it's both couple that will work it out to make it green. Yes, to make it beautiful. Okay, Bozo is saying, Mama Flozy. Okay, you are relating. That is good. Did I miss anybody? Hello, fam. A Y can. Sorry, oh, Triple J family. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning. I appreciate you for coming. Please, as you are coming, give me thumbs up and stay with me for 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you so much. I will appreciate it. We are discussing about divorce. The stage, what are the stage that someone will make someone to say, I don't want you anymore. <laughs> Let's go our separate ways. Some people get married because their mates are getting married. Such marriage is not going to last. You are correct. Yes. Mama Flozy, that is true. Some people are doing just that. They will say, ah, I'm getting old. My all my mates, they've gotten married. So let me go and marry. It can be on the men's side, it can be on the women's side, any side. Yes. They do it. They will say because of that, let me go now and get married. At the end of the day. It doesn't work out well. Because both parties, both partners, we are not made for each other. You are correct, Mama Flozy. It's true now. They were not made for each other. You are laughing. <laughs> I thought that I was already leaked to you, but I'm, okay, no problem. It's sometimes it's like that. If you find out that you didn't click the bell, you click it. It's up that way. So, along the way, they now find out that they were not met for each other. Because he or she wanted to marry because his friends are getting married. So I want to be among the group that they will call Mr. They will call Mrs. If both parties are not met for each other, it happens that way. Definitely someday they are going to go their separate way because they were not made for each other. So we really need to work on it. Don't go into marriage because you see people go into marriage or because you felt that you are old, you go into marriage. Maybe you don't love the person. You say, let me do it so that people will say I'm married. It can also lead to divorce. The marriage will not last because both parties are not compatible. They don't love themselves. Maybe it was just love at first sight. <laughs> you know, love at first sight can be so funny. Okay, no problem, sister. Yes, please do. We all here, we should try and watch it. Please do. It really bothered me some days ago. Now I was like, 
What is really happening? What is really going on? Is it that is that the way God has made it for people just to be divorcing themselves anyhow? You will see someone that just got married five years, six years. The next thing you see that they are no longer together. It's so funny. So I was now wondering, maybe there are stages for it that both parties can go their separate ways. But with what I've gathered this morning, it's possible they can go their separate way when they are not met for each other. Yes, when there is no love, they can go their separate way. It's possible. And when you are doing it so that people will know that you are Mrs. The marriage will not last. Okay, the love, the I love Lisa Michelle show. I absolutely am in love with my husband now. Second husband. It was love at first sight for me. Sis. Okay, no problem. It happens that way. The point I was going the when I say love at first sight, you know, when you got you got married. I remember when I got married, I wasn't as fat as this. That's just the truth. <laughs> I wasn't as fast as this. Do you understand? So along the way, maybe when you start giving birth, uh -huh, so people will start complaining. They will start complaining. Ah, the woman I got married, she was Lekpa. Lekpa, but now she's now robo, very fat. And they don't want it that way. You know, it is an issue. So we women, we, we work on it. Yes, my husband say it at times. You say, when I got married to you, you now you are getting fat. So I, I start working on it. <laughs> oh, you've been married for 12 years and now you are enjoying it. That is second marriage. So it's possible that way. Your first marriage might not really work as well. Okay. Yes, Mama Flozzi says she's going to do a video on it. Please, let's watch out for it. I have community tab now. If anybody that wants to go to live stream, if I'm there, I will help you share on my community tab. Yes, I will watch it too. I have your bear on, so I will definitely watch out for it. No problem, Bozon. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you, I understand. You need to go back to work so that you can work and make money. We need money to move on. <laughs> Grace, you are laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? So it's, it's so funny. It's like that. But we really need to help ourselves for those of us that are married. The truth is that a stage will come. If it doesn't work out, there's nothing you can do about it. Even if you say you want to hide it from people to know, a time will come. You can no longer hide it. Okay. My first marriage lasted only one, that is, I think one and a half years. That is what you want to write. I'll be 15 years. One, I think it's one and a half years. Yes, it happened that way. When both parties are not meant for each other. Yes, it, it happens that way. When both parties are not meant for each other, there's the voice. The voice will definitely come in. There's nothing we can do about it. But the way it's so rampant, that is what me are particular about. That before getting married, I think we should really think twice. This person, I want to get into this con because it's an yes, it's a covenant, it's an oath. This person, I want to get into oath. We are going to be together forever till death. Yes, 
before the person you are going to go naked yes before the person there's nothing because one of the things that is causing one of another thing that i think that is causing their voice is when there is no trust yes no trust between both parties no trust you no longer trust your partner i think that is another issue that can lead to their voice you don't trust your partner any long. Maybe something happened along the way. You now say, I don't trust this man. You people will not be living in doubt. And you are in the same house. Before you know, I think that can also lead to the voice. <laughs> oh, Mama Flos is... Because this the voice of a thing is now something that people no longer shy away from. They not take it as... Everyday business, it doesn't mean. Okay, at Edwana, I look forward to writing down the singing meaning recipe. I need to fit in a new recipe box, and my kids will love those. Okay, no problem. Please let's encourage each other by watching each other's video, leaving relevant comments so that we can grow together. Grace, thank you for the thumbs up. Somebody just walked in. Cartoon show, thank you for coming. Please give me thumbs up there. I need your thumbs up as I just coming in. Thank you so much. We are discussing about stages of when one should say, go your way, I go my way in marriage. What are the stages? What will lead to it? What will happen that will make you say, I no longer do with you? So I've got different opinion here this morning. One among us this morning made me to know that it happens when both parties are not compatible, it can happen. And when you now remarry, you live happily. Yes, you live happily. You still have people in the house. Yeah, I love Lisa Michelle still in the house. Can testify to what I'm saying now. Cartoon show is still in the house. Okay, thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Maria is still in the house. Though they can testify to what I'm saying now. That it happens that way. Mama Flozy is still in the house. Please let's grab each other. Let's relate. Let's stay the right way with each other. Be our brother's keeper and sister's keeper. But I just decided to throw this thing in because it's something that is so rampant these days. Yes, it's happened in Europe, it's even happened in Nigeria. Yes, you are correct, Mama Flozy. It's too much in Europe than Nigeria. So it's something that we really need to help ourselves. Let's try to work on it. I know they say marriage is not by force. I know it's not by force. But when you decided to say you want to do, <laughs> I think <laughs> when you say you want to do, you've gathered everybody to say, I want to do. You should be ready to also manage. Yes. I did not say you should go and die in the marriage. No. Both parties, they, are, they came from different homes. That is just the truth. The way they bring up the man is not the way they bring up the woman. They are from different homes. So both parties should be able to tolerate themselves. Okay, Grace, you said soon I'm getting married. Yes, no problem. You are welcome to the family. 
Yes, yeah, so <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's something everybody dreams to do. But we are just saying it that it happens. Divo this divorce of a thing is ha it happens. It's not strange. It's not something new. It's not something new. You really have to go in a marriage with open eyes, not just for flesh. We should be equally yoked, but it don't work like that all the time. Yes, you are right. You are right, sister. In marriage, some people, they don't open their eyes. It's love at first sight. They just go in. So when they are in, they want to still go out because it doesn't work out that way. So marriage should not be something as love at first sight because if it's love at first sight, because when you are there, during the time of your friendship is different from marriage. That is what I always tell people. When you are doing boyfriend and girlfriend, they are two different things. That time you can do whatsoever you like. You can even stay without talking to the person. A day, two days. Do you understand? But when we are talking about marriage, it's not that way. Two of you are together. Even at times when you don't want to see the person, the person is there because your husband is your wife. The person is always there with you. So marriage should be something that we should put into consideration. We should think about it very well because this person is going to be there all the days of your life. Two, four, seven, the person will be there. Even if other people cannot tell you your faults, cannot tell you your weak points, your partner will say it. Yes, your partner will say it. Lifestyle. Raymond's Lifestyle. Welcome for coming to the house. Thank you so much for joining this talk this morning. Happy week ahead. Thank you so much. Hello, dear 1K. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass 1K. You do, you will pass where you are now. I'm moving ahead. Mr. Sansi. Good morning. Thank you for joining this talk this morning. I appreciate you for coming. Okay. The man that was okay. It was never a bad flesh for me. We all have different testimony. We have different testimony about these things. Trading fashion. Thank you so much for coming this morning. I appreciate you. Please, as you are coming, just give me 10 to 15 minutes of your time so that it will count for me. And give me thumbs up too. So that's it. It happens that way, but what do we do? We don't need to kill ourselves. Some people, they are there. They are all the name of, I don't want people to laugh at me. They are still in that home. Not that I'm trying to encourage that voice. I'm not encouraging that voice, but I'm just trying to say that before you decide, be very careful. Know that this man or this woman is the person you are going to be with forever. Will you be able to cope with the person? If the person offends you, will you be able to take it? Will you be able to endure the person's weak point? Because everybody has weak points. I have weak points. You're, you have weak points. My husband has weak points. The person you got married to have weak points. You cannot say the person I want to marry should be perfect. Because you, you are not perfect. Me, I'm not perfect. That's just the truth. Nobody is perfect. So we should be able to tolerate each other in the home. Okay, what do you say? Mary? Okay, I'm feeling this. Yes, this is Michel TV show. The marriage take a lot of work. It works if if you work it. Yes, no. Yes, it's both parties that will work it out. It's not one person's issue. It's not one person that should do it. 
sometimes they will tell you uh, it's the man that should work it out. Sometimes they will say it's the woman that should work it out. It's both parties. It's not one person. It's both parties that should work it out to make it work, not only one-sided. Because if only one person is just making it to work out, along the way, it will collapse. That just the truth. It will collapse. Yes. Jenny and a bottle, you are correct. Yes, both parties should work it out so that it can work. If it's only one person, you now I was saying in that sometimes you will say it can be the woman, it can be the man. You will be saying, Ah, I don't want people to laugh at me. That is why I'm still in this home. It only shows there that it's only one person that is making it work. And if it's one person that is making it work, it will not last. It will take some time, but it will not last. But if it's both parties that is making it work, it will last. They will go a long way, yes. They will live together. One-sided way doesn't work. I think that's why we are still having divorce here and there today. Because it's only one person that is making it work out. Only one person that I say, ah, because of how long I've suffered, because of how long I've been through in this home, let me endure. Let me be patient. Because this is the most homes. If you watch, they're just enjoying it. Not that they are enjoying it. Yes. There's are different between endurance and enjoyment. Yes. To endure and to enjoy is two different things. Most marriages, is, they are just enjoying it. Not that they are enjoying their home. It has been here, sis. I missed my children and I'm trying not to hate. I so look forward to my divorce from that sick son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, sister. <laughs> oh, God. The man must have offended in a, in a in a bad way. You see what I'm saying? It was her for her. But she kept enjoying. But at the end of the day, because that is it. If one person is the one working it out, it doesn't work that way. I think Miriam was the one trying to work it out so that everything will be okay. She will not miss her children. And try not to hate. But if you continue to be the one alone, it will not work out. It has to be two parties thing. Yes, it has to be the two side, not one person alone. Yes, some marriage work and some don't. Even if you put your efforts, some will work out, but some don't. If you try your best, maybe you are is one person that is making it to work. You are trying your best. At the end of the day, it will work out. Some doesn't work out. And that is the stages we are talking about this morning. If you get to that stage, it doesn't work out. There's nothing you can do about it. The next thing is to divorce. Even if you say, okay, you want to keep on hiding it so that nobody will know about it. They will say, ah, I just got married and just divorce. And the Bible says we should not divorce. You are hiding it. A time will come. It will take maybe longer period. That divorce will still take place. So sorry to hear that. Children, as you miss the children, the children will definitely miss you too. That is the reason why some people are still in their home, because of the children. As she said now, yes, they don't want to miss the children. They will say, okay, let me continue to endure. Let me continue to be in this home because of the children I have for this man, because of the children I have for this woman. But the truth is that a time will come. They will still go their separate way. Yes. 
they win, go their separate way. It will, ju it will just take some time, little time. At the end of the day, they will still go their separate way. Because both parties were not meant for each other. Yes, yeah, so that will be my prayer too. I will put it in my prayer, Miriam. You will see them soon. Yes, yeah, so summer <laughs> grace. We are not discouraging you. <laughs> you say some are getting in and some are getting that. May God help us. Yes, God will continue to help us. That is why we are discussing it this morning. Before you get in, you have to watch. Don't just get in because people are getting in. No. Because if you get in because people are getting in, you will still get out the way you get in. It will only take some time. That is just the truth. Marriage should not be something that we should rush in. We should go in because people are going in. When it is your time, you will go. Yes, yeah, that is the truth. I remember when I got married. So many people have got married long ago before I got married. Yes. So many people got married long ago before I got married. But I never said... That does not mean when I go out, people don't say, see, your friend is married. You, you are still single. They say it to me. They say it to me. But I have a goal. I was focused. I knew what I wanted. Even when I was going out with someone else that it didn't work out, I knew what I wanted. I've always told God, look at the kind of man I want. Okay, it has been two years now. You will see, you will see them soon, sister. You will see them soon. They are your children. They are your own. It is because of what happened along the way. You will still see them soon. I will put you in prayer. God will do it. You will see them soon. They are your children. You gave birth to them. You carried them for nine months. So they are your children. It happened that way. So marriage should not be something we should just rush, rush into because people are going. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't work that way. I pray God will continue to help us all. I appreciate every one of you for coming this morning. You really encouraged me. You've taught me something this morning. <laughs> something I never knew before because I was wondering why this divorce of a thing. Is, is it that people just feel like going to divorce because people are doing it? Or there's stage for it? But I've learned this morning that it happened. And when it wants to happen, there's nothing you can do about it. But if both parties are there for each other, it will not happen. It's only when person, one person is trying to make it work, it will happen. If both parties love themselves, I don't think it will happen. Yes, you will find the man you love someday, sister. Yes, definitely. You will find the man you love someday. You will. You will. There is nothing you can do about it. If the man is not made for you, you cannot force yourself on the man. If you keep on staying in that home saying, ah, I don't want people to laugh at me, mock at me. The person can even take advantage of you. You say, if I do you anyhow, nobody will talk. After all, you are hiding it from people. So it's something that we should look into very well before going into it. Before getting in, we should look into it very well. This person, if the person becomes fat tomorrow, will I be able to cope? Yes. Is the person is no more ugly. Or maybe the person can sing very well. And tomorrow the person can no longer sing. Will the person still be your wife or your husband? 
the person can pray very well. Tomorrow, the person can no longer pray. Will the person still be your husband or your wife? Marriage is something we should look into properly before getting in. If not, you will get out someday. Because if you begin to say, oh, let me remain, let me stay put, you are on your own. So the stages of divorce happen in various ways. It differs. But the most important thing is that both parties should love themselves. Yes, they should be there for each other. Not one person should be there. I'm never getting married again. <laughs> Sister, <laughs> if you see somebody that will be there for you, you win. It happens that way. Yes, sometimes it happens that way. Ah, Bianca, welcome to the house. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for coming this morning. You are discussing about stages whereby the voice comes in. And we've gotten different opinion before you come. Maybe when you do the replay, you will hear about it. <laughs> So life goes on. We have to move on. We have to move on in life. We should not see it as a stage whereby you say, oh, because of this person. Because the reason why Sister Maria is saying this is because of what happened to her. That's why she's saying she will never get married again. That's just the truth. But the truth is that if you meet someone that really loves you, you will. You will get married. Someone that will be there for you, someone that you love, someone that loves you in return. Not the one you love, does not love you in return. There's always issue with that. But if both of you love yourselves, you will get married again to the person. It happens that way. when someone has offended you, when someone has done something to you, you, you might want to use that aggression or other people that comes your way. So God will definitely send someone that loves you. Despite your weak points, someone that loves you for who you are, God will send it to you, my sister. Ah! You got engaged on Valentine's Day and broke it up after three weeks. My dear, broken relationship is better than broken marriage. Yes, it's better you have broken relationship. You people are not married yet, so that is not an issue. I'm not surprised. Yes, broken engagement is better than broken marriage. Yes, the man married today was not the my, I did my first engagement with the one I did the first engagement with. We never got married and we broke, so it was better for me. We have broken engagement than to have broken marriage. We are talking about broken marriage this morning. Broken relationship is, is, is normal. Yes, I prefer it to broken marriage. Broken relationship, you can meet someone else. Yes. And you broke up. If they, if you notice the person is not compatible with you, you notice the person, you people cannot move on. You break with the person. Well, we are talking about broken marriage, divorce in marriages. Yes, so. Yes, it will take a miracle. God will do it. Don't worry. <laughs> God will do it. Yes, yeah, some uh, engagement, some uh, courtship are like that. When you notice the person is not compatible, it's better you break it down to continue. Some people, they will even say, ah, since we, we are not engaged in Valentine's Day, ah, I don't want people to laugh at me. They will continue. At the end of the day, they get married, and the marriage will not work out. So it's better. It's better, Blanca, the way it happened. 
Yes, I'm happy for you. The way it happened. After yes, after three weeks. So we know we get to three weeks. So we get to four years before they break their engagement. But your own came early. I love it. Yes, and you move on. Though it's painful, it's painful. I can't lie to you, but you move on. But if it's marriage, it's so difficult, my dear. Especially married that you have children there. Ah no, it's so painful. Marriage whereby you people have gone to your father's house, your mother's house to say, I want to do. <laughs> nah, nah, you are not complaining that the, the man is, is this, the woman is this. You can't cope. So that is why I said divorce in marriage hmm. is so hard. Yes, miracles still happen. Miracles still happen, definitely. We still have the God of Abraham. Yes, he's still our God today. Okay. For now, I'm trying to invest in myself. I will let love find me. I leave it to all to go. Yes, love will definitely find you. Yes, you too, you will find love. <laughs> Don't worry. Yes, for now, just take your time out. Invest in yourself, yes. Know yourself better. So that you can be a better person for the right person. Yes. The person wasn't meant for you. That is right. So. Please, oh, don't use the word S here. I know you don't know. Please. I'm going to delete your comments. Maria, please help me delete it. Because of the S word that you use. YouTube doesn't want S word though, please. I know it's because you didn't know, that is why. If you can, please delete it for me. Okay. So sorry for that, I've deleted it. I've deleted it. No S word is allowed, please. White doesn't need it. Mary Vice, I'm back. Oh, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming back. Thank you so much. Okay. The love, the I love Lisa Michelle show. Amen. Oh, Blanca. Okay, you are saying me to her. She's praying for you, okay? Yes, Lisa, it was too toxic for me. I can't raise a a grown man yet i have my own son to raise i'm so glad i have moved on the one god has kept for me will find me yes you are correct the one god has for you will definitely find you that is just the truth that is just the truth you are correct you are right about that sometimes we fall in love yes it happens that way you fall in love you will fall out yes you fall out and we, when you fall out, you learn your lesson. It happens that way. Oh. And to pick my kids from school. Okay, that is nice. That is nice. We are, yeah, we are in money. I'll think of going for a school run later in the afternoon. That is why I like doing my live stream in the morning. When I'm chance. Because I'm whole alone with... My last born. He has not started school yet. Oh, thank you so much. You are a great ladies. Great. Yes, yeah, so we have great friends here. And they are loyal. You need to grab them. You need them in your life. And stay connected too. I have loyal people here. Okay.
So I'm not so I didn't get you. Let me share this and okay, no problem. Please do. Please do. I have community tab now. I think I will I will be sharing mine now when I have opportunity to share. Appreciate every one of you for coming to the house this morning. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for coming. Thanks so much for the encouragement for being there for me. Miss Cuteness is in the house. Good morning, my sister. For my another mother. Thank you so much for coming to the house this morning. Miss Cuteness, happy week ahead. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, sister. Before you came, we were discussing about divorce in marriage. Yes, yeah, so that it happened. So for those of us that are planning to come in, we should, we should watch very well. <laughs> it happened. It's not something we should shy away from. Oh, I appreciate you too, sister. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming this morning. That it happened, though, is not strange. It's not something that some people hide anymore. So we are trying to talk about it this morning, how we can, what we can do. When it happened, you move on. Yes, you just have to move on. When the stage come for divorce to take place, there's nothing you can do about it. Yes. Even if you say you want to hide it so that nobody will know, you don't want people to laugh at you. So because of that, you are enjoying it. A time is come, you will still face the music yourself. Yes. You will face it. Roses are red. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning. Happy week ahead. Thank you so much for coming this morning. Thank you. I appreciate you. Please give me thumbs up as you are coming and give me 10 to 15 minutes of your time. Thank you. Miss Kutner said, marriage is hello. There is nothing wrong about divorce. Don't stay and kill yourself. Love yourself and move on. <laughs> it is not all marriage that is hello, my sister. It's not all marriage that I said. That is what we are discussing this morning. Some marriage are not here. Those ones that are here. If divorce is the key, if you do it, you move on. Don't say, ah, I cannot remarry again. I cannot move on with my life again. I want to go and kill myself. No. Yes. It's some marriages that are here, not all. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with divorce. It's happened. That is what we are discussing. It happened. And there's nothing you can do about it. You move on. When the stages occur, what do you do? Will you say, I'm not getting married to someone else. I will not love again because my marriage has crumbled. My marriage is dead. You move on, as you said. You love yourself. You move on. Don't kill yourself about it. You move on because there are still people out there for you that will love you for who you are. Oh, Rosie Sare, thank you so much. Flora, thank you for coming to the house. Good morning. Happy week ahead. Thank you for coming this morning. I appreciate you for coming. Oh, Mary Vice, you say, enjoy your topic. Ah. No, I just thought of it not a few days ago. I was like, why is this so rampant? I was like, maybe there are stages for it. <laughs> stages for divorce. Yes, yeah, so most of them, people pretend to be happy. Yes, I've talked about it before you come. Most people, yes, they are enjoying it. Not that they are enjoying the home. They are just enjoying it because they don't want people to laugh at them. They don't want people to mock at them, to say, ah, after how many years, now you want to 
quit. So they are there. So I'm not saying this money that if you are like that, a time will come, it will still happen. There's nothing you can do about it. Yes. The earlier, the better, so that you can move on. Yes, so that you face the music. Sometimes when we are discussing about these things, those that are not married will be scared. It's not something to be scared about. It happened. That is why before you get in, be very careful. Know the person you are going in for. Know the person you are going to meet. Because both of you are going to be together for life. Yes. Both of you are going to be together when you are down, when you are sick, when the person is down, when the person is sick, you will be there for the person. The person will be there for you. Do you understand? Mommy. So it's something... Yeah, yeah. I will come when I'm done. Yeah, but how long about? Hello, you how said? Long, how long about? Maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yes, sir. You cannot come back. Are you going out? Yeah, when I leave, yeah, I have to show you something. Okay, okay, I'll come. Can Give you? me 15 minutes. Okay, I'll tell them. Okay. okay, thank you. It's my landlord. <laughs> I'll soon go. <laughs> he said he wants to show me something. Okay, thank you so much for those that came. I can put it in silent now and go and come back. In fact, everybody will leave me. I'm here. Just give me five minutes. I'm coming. Who is in the house? Give me five minutes. I'm coming. I'm coming back. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, you always enjoy the bubbles. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I just tried it today <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I appreciate. So, it's, it's something that we need to really talk about. We should not shy away from it because it happened. So, what do you do? Will you say because you are not that voice? You are not nobody. No, you move on. You love yourself and you move on. Don't kill yourself about it. Because there's nothing you can do about it. I've said to couples whereby <laughs> the only solution, yes, the only solution that I, I concluded was they should go their separate ways. Yes, even if they go and meet pastor. Pastor, we I know some pastor will say, stay together, continue to stay together. But the issue is that the problem is still going to be there. Yes, the problem is still going to be there. And when they went their separate way, they were living happily. The man got married to somebody else. The woman got married to somebody else. They are living happily. Unlike when they were together, 
So that is it. The voice of a thing, it happens. There are stages that it happens. There's nothing you can do about it. And the two people will go their separate way. You can't force them to remain together for life. It's not possible. Because if they do, problems will, will come in that they cannot handle. So the, the only way about it is for them to go their separate way. But the issue is this. Before going in, think about these things. Because the person you are seeing today might not remain the way you met him or the way uh, you met her. Be ready to tolerate each other in your weakness, in your weak points. Yes. Be ready to be there. Those that are getting married because ah the person has money. So let me go in. Tomorrow the money might not be there. So what do you do? Will you still remain with the person? So it's something that we should put into consideration very well. This marriage of 18, because their voice is there. Who is in the house with me? Do I still have anybody? I'm seeing two people, but say yes so that I will know you are in the house. If you are not in the house, so that I will end the live stream this morning. Thank you so much for being there for me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please, let's try to work on this. The voice is not something that I really encourage people doing. Yes, because not my kind of thing. But there are things that happen. There's a stage it will get to. There's nothing you can do. The only solution, the only way out, that is the voice. Yes. And when these people go their separate way, they will be a better person. But some that are just taking it out. Ah, people are doing it. They are their voices. So let me do it. I'm not in support of it at all. I'm not in support of it. It's not the best way to go in life. I pray God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for being there. Take care of yourself. Bye. Have a nice week ahead.